Today we are in Miami Springs and I am going to show you the top five reasons why you may want to move to Miami Springs. Miami Springs is one of the few planned communities from the 1920s that were formed what is now known as Miami-Dade County along with Coral Gables and I'm gonna cover the top five reasons. You're not gonna wanna miss it because I'm gonna cover the size of the town, location, and all the reasons why you may wanna make this the next place that you move to. The first reason you may wanna move to Miami Springs is the location. If you look at a map of Miami-Dade County, you will notice that Miami Springs literally sits right in the center of the county you are just minutes above Miami International Airport. The way the city is formed is you have two main arteries on both sides. So you have Okeechobee on one side and you have Northwest 36 on the south side. Now they kind of diverge out in a triangle-like shape, which means that you are literally kind of locked into the city in a sense because you can only get out through certain streets. Now the great thing is once you exit the city, you have major highway systems everywhere. You have access to the 826, you have access to I-95 through 112, or if not, you can take Okeechobee and 36 to access other cities located around Miami-Dade County. The second reason you should move to Miami Springs is the traffic, or shall I say the lack thereof. One of the biggest complaints you are going to hear about Miami-Dade County is the driving and the way people drive and how fast paced it is. I am right now on one of the main east-west arteries in the city of Miami Springs and you can barely see any traffic and it is approximately four o'clock right now and you barely see cars driving through and that's the reality is once you cross into the city of Miami Springs and you're navigating through the neighborhood you won't see much traffic and in fact it's very walkable as you can see Westward Drive they've built this amazing walking path and they have walking paths all throughout the city so whether you want to walk or bike it's very walkable or bikeable and you don't have to worry about seeing all these cars or the traffic. The majority of the traffic you will encounter will be obviously outside of the city of Miami Springs or in the few bottlenecks there are to actually get in or outside of the city, either through the Okeechobee or 36th Street side. In addition, in the heart of the city, right in the center, you have the Miami Springs Golf Course. You have an 18 hole course. Now for those of you that are actually professional golfers, unlike myself that actually I played this morning and I scored 100 because I'm not good. But if you actually play golf and you do well, it's 6,800 yards approximately from the longest tees. It is an 18 hole course. There are memberships. My understanding is the driving range is available at night. One of the few places that you can actually do that in South Florida. And a lot of the homes around the golf course will be some of the nicest homes that you will see. So you just have these beautiful views of all the architecture and all the historic homes. It's just nice to have these bright open spaces due to the golf course right in the center of the city. The third reason you would want to move to Miami Springs is it really is a small town. Right now I am standing in the heart of what would be considered the quote unquote downtown of Miami Springs. They're a commercial district and as you can see it's not that big. You don't have a bunch of high rises. Rather for being in Miami-Dade County as you can see most of the buildings are one story. Around here you have your local commercial establishments, you have your supermarket, etc. But you don't have like all these big box retailers. You know, it's just the kind of place where you're gonna go to the supermarket, you're gonna go to the gym, you're gonna see the same people as opposed to the rest of Miami-Dade County where, you know, for example, City of Miami alone is like 500,000 residents. When you're in City of Miami Springs, you got less than 15,000 residents. So chances are you're gonna get to know your neighbors. You're gonna get to know individuals in the community, individuals in the police department, fire department, local government, whatever it may be. And you're gonna feel part of the community as opposed to the rest of greater Miami-Dade County where you can just kind of get lost in the masses. The fourth reason Miami Springs is a great place to live is the amenities of living in the city. You have your own police station, your own fire station, 4th of July fireworks show are held by the city. But in addition, for example, right now, I am located outside the community center. So it has a gym, it has indoor basketball courts. They hold all sorts of leagues here year round. Located right next to it is the aquatic center. It has a pool with a shallow end for smaller children. It has a large slide that honestly, I have been dying to go down. Also located right next to the community center is Prince Field. And at Prince Field, they host all sorts of activities for kids 
at the field in addition to those also held at the community center. The fifth and final reason why Miami Springs is one of the best places to live in Miami-Dade County is just its overall character. Now, I, I know a lot of this ties into the size of the town, but given that it is a three square mile oasis in the heart of Miami-Dade County, there's not a lot of land left to build. A lot of the homes are older, and over time, people have made updates or upgraded the homes, but they all have their own personality. It's not like a lot of the tracts of land that you get down south in Miami, or even if you go west of here in Doral, where you have these communities where every home looks the same. Here, a lot of the homes have their character and personality. In fact, behind me is one of our newest listings. As you can see, the home has exposed brick, it has a charming front porch, and it has just an overall amazing layout, and it's on a 9,500 square foot lot, which if you go into other parts of Miami, you're gonna get a lot less. In addition to the homes and the size, you're also just gonna get the overall feel. It's a master planned community from the 1920s. You have, for example, easements in the back where trash pickup occurs, so you won't see trash in the front of the house. You won't have, you know, those garbage pickup days where everybody has their bins outside. It's the overall community itself just has this amazing place that you don't feel like you're in Miami. You feel like you're somewhere else and you've been transported and that character. And then you have all these historical reminders throughout the town. For example, one of those monuments around town that goes back to the town's history is this one right behind me of Roy Geiger. This one is located right on Curtis Parkway and Curtis Parkway cuts right through the heart of the city and it is in honor of the founder of the town of Miami Springs. You just have all these charming little reminders of the history located all throughout Miami Springs. And throughout the town, you're constantly reminded of the town's connection to the airline industry. And it's just nice that this town, you know, has some sort of personality and it's not just a plot of land that was developed, you know, by big corporations. And instead, you can really feel part of the community. Thank you for joining us on this tour of Miami Springs. If you enjoyed this tour, please give us a like and a subscribe down below so you can get future videos. And if you enjoyed this tour, let us know what did you like about it. Tell us what do you not like maybe about Miami Springs. Leave us any comments down below and let us know what other communities would you like me to feature in future videos. I look forward to seeing you on our next neighborhood tour.